That carjacking happened in Holly Hill overnight near the intersection of Carswell Avenue and 2nd Street. We're told the car was later found at a home on Pleasant Street in Daytona Beach. News 6 reporter Lauren Korn talked to that victim and has the story from Volusia County. That 20 year old was being responsible, pulling over to the side of the road so he could text his father that he'll be late picking him up from work when all of a sudden he looked up to find his doors fly open. This is like the scariest thing in my life. The man declined to reveal his identity but wants people to see the pain he endured near these railroad tracks around 1030 Wednesday night. By the time I reached to my phone, all I see is three black males. They had uh, pointed the guns on me and asked me to give them all what I have and to get out from the car. The man says before he could react, the men beat him with fists and their guns. I acted like I, was, I got knocked out on the steering wheel so they can stop hitting me, but they kept on hitting. And threatened his life if he didn't follow orders. And I told them I don't have nothing on me. All what I have is $11 and my ID and my uh, credit card. That's it. He said if I don't get out from the car, he's going to shoot at me. Left bloody and beaten, the man says the trio took off in his car while he ran to his girlfriend's home to call 911 and use her phone to find his. And it located at someone's house behind uh, Bethune-Cookman College. The man alerted police and within 30 minutes, officers say they recovered his car pictured here. It's all messed up. It's damaged. The driver, now bandaged and bruised, says he's thankful to be alive and hopes police will catch these men before they strike again. That's why I called the, the police so they can find these people and stop them. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Korn, News 6. Investigators say they're looking for three men between 22 and 24 years old. We're told two of them have dreadlocks and a third has a faded haircut. Police say all three of them were dressed in black. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Daytona Beach Police Department.